The human heart operates on a double circulation system, ensuring efficient oxygenation of blood and delivery of nutrients throughout the body. Let's begin with pulmonary circulation, the first part of the double circulation system. The deoxygenated blood returns to the heart from the body's tissues through the superior and inferior vena cava, entering the right atrium. From the right atrium, blood flows through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, pumping the deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary valve and into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs, where it undergoes gas exchange. Carbon dioxide is removed, and oxygen is absorbed. Oxygenated blood returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins, entering the left atrium. From here starts the systemic circulation, the second part of the double circulation system. Oxygenated blood from the left atrium passes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts, pumping oxygen-rich blood through the aortic valve and into the aorta, the body's largest artery. From the aorta, oxygenated blood is distributed to all body parts through smaller arteries, arterioles, and eventually capillaries. In the capillaries, oxygen and nutrients are delivered to tissues, and waste products, including carbon dioxide, are removed. Deoxygenated blood, laden with waste products, returns to the heart via venules and veins, ultimately entering the right atrium to begin the pulmonary circulation process again. And there you have it, the double circulation of the human heart. This complex system ensures efficient blood oxygenation and delivery of nutrients throughout the body, supporting overall health and function. Did you enjoy this fascinating exploration? If so, show some love by hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support and thanks for watching.